Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Culture Audio Detective jungle. here investigating your favorite albums and today I'm going to do another album review in 2021, the second one, and that is Boris and Mersbo 2R0I2P0 or actually 2020 RIP but the letters are scrambled together. So Boris is a rock band actually an experimental metal band who sort of crosses different genres of metal sludge metal doom metal art metal but ultimately they are an experimental metal band from tokyo japan uh, consisting of atsuo takeshi and wata and mersbo the really famous underground noise artist also from tokyo japan real name is akita masami and yeah, Boris and Mersbo. This is the um, this is not the first time they have collaborated, um, by the way. But you know, essentially in twenty twenty they have collaborated to make this album, sending a final goodbye to twenty twenty with twenty twenty R I P. And um, yeah, I've never actually covered any of Mersbo's musical material, even though I've tried listening to one of his albums. Um, I have actually reviewed one Boris album last year, and I thought it was fantastic, and that is the album No. And, uh, yeah. First of all, I want to say that uh, out of all the musical genres I've tried so hard to get into, uh, in the last three years, ever since I started, you know, taking music seriously, noise is still the hardest genre to get into. In fact, still to this day, I don't know why some people would enjoy noise. I don't. Personally, noise is not my cup of tea. Not yet. I don't really see the appeal behind it just yet. Though, I have a sneaking suspicion that the reason why people enjoy noise music is because of its ambient qualities. Except of being super quiet, it's the opposite. It's super noisy, but it has that same effect uh, that an ambient record has. And it's that with all this noise, with all this irregularity, and with all this plainness, it sort of creates an atmosphere, or a mood, or a certain state of mind. And that is, I guess, also the appeal of drone music to me. I mean, two years ago when I heard of bands like Earth and Sun, um, I was like, what the heck? Do they just play the same note for 24 minutes or something? But after listening to a couple Sun albums, I realized that, I mean, yeah, I guess there are some artistic merits in this album that, that I, I kind of like, I guess. Uh, but meanwhile, we have Boris, whose music is also not that accessible, by the way, still very sludgy and drony and kind of experimental, uh, actually very experimental at times, but it's a little bit better to access to, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, we have this album. Now, given that I'm not a huge noise music guy, I don't enjoy this album as much as some people did or as much as I would have had if I enjoy noise music but honestly I think a good chunk of this album are also pretty enjoyable from an ambient standpoint imagine ambient and metal music coming together and noisy this is the album so the first two tracks are easily two of my favorite tracks because these two tracks are dreamy, uh, moody, dreary, sad, but also sweet, especially the first one, Away From You, which starts off with the shuffly, crunchy, percussive noise instead of the scratchy tones. So it really sets up for a really humble beginning, which is really nice. And then we get the guitars from Boris which are real the guitar chords are really warm and nice and sunny the vocals are very whispery and muffled and they are also slightly off key but because they are off key they sort of creates this this atmosphere of 
uncertainty that adds to the dreaminess of this track, actually. And occasionally on this track, on different points, uh, there are noisy climaxes which um, sort of swell uh, in the middle and at the end, and this track is pretty nice. The second track, To the Beach, is way more dark and sinister, but in a similar dreamy fashion. The noise is so much more chaotic, and the guitar tones are kind of evil and a little scary, even. The choruses are really expressive but also stark with the descending bass and it has a really strong alt metal flavor. Uh, for some reason it kind of reminds me of Deftones but this is like way more artistic and experimental than a Deftones song but it kind of has that similar vibe of being really stark and, and, and kind of moody in a sinister way. The next three tracks are not that great in my opinion we have coma which is only three minutes long and it's easily the shortest track on the entire album and it's just three minutes of aggressive droning noise scratching wailing screaming screeching and not much boris more so mersbo and i'm just not a huge fan of that even though i i i think i'm beginning to get into noise music myself the next track love uh, and that's kind of funny because there are tracks on this album called Love and Evil, E-V-O-L, Evil. And Boris had released two albums called Love and Evil, respectively, in their careers as well. But they turn up to be tracks on this album as well. And on Love, we get these screeching, compressed noises, wailing drones, and the metal parts of this track. They are so aggressive and so super compressed. It's kind of unintelligible and it's just really hard for me to really feel anything from this track. The track Absolute Go has a more punky, shouty vibe to it on the metal side and all at the same time the vocals and the guitars are kind of muffled and they sound really distant which is something that I really love, you know. I don't know why but there's one snippet of my childhood memory, um, in my childhood memory, like I would be in the middle of nowhere beside some farmland and grass and in a far distance a wooden house and in the wooden house someone is singing and um, I think I know that someone is but that someone doesn't know I'm there and I'm slowly walking towards that house in the middle of the night. And this song kind of gives me that vibe, and I really, really love it, though I guess one huge problem I have with the track Absolute Go is that it is very stagnant. It just stays in that state for the entirety of the track. The track Journey is another highlight for me. The noise is so much more static, and the vocals, uh, they are um, female vocals that are very droney and dreary and the guitars are kind of sad and slow it's a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a sad song and uh i actually kind of like the dreamy mood from it the track utsume is another sludgy droney monster but i guess one thing i like about this track is that it is so much more sinister and it sounds so much more unstable and the track evil is a 13 minute long track with irregular noises that are very echoey roaring and once again, it's kind of stagnant and it doesn't really progress much. And strangely, we have a nine minute long track called Boris, which is the name of the band, Boris, a band title track. That is rare. But uh, Boris, this track is actually not bad in that it has these very intoxicating and strange metal production and noises that I really love. The performance are so crazy and so scorched on this track. It's um, kind of a highlight on the album for me. And the album ends up with Shadow of Skull, which is 12 minutes long and it has these wailing guitars and it's really desolate. In a sense, this is almost like an extension of the previous track, Boris, but it sounds even dronier, even longer, even more washed out. So I like the sound, but in concept, maybe it's a little redundant. 
But uh, yeah, overall, I think I still enjoy a good bit of this album. I don't enjoy this album all that much, but I kind of see artistic merits from this album. My favorite track here is Away From You in my or To The Beach, actually. And my least favorite is probably Coma, I am giving. Boris and Mersbo's 2R0I2P0, a strong 6 to a light 7 out of 10. So, have you listened to the latest Boris and Mersbo album from Wendy Dynamics? Rate, like, like, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching.